Yeah. Morning, what's the purpose of the stop? Yeah, no, 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 yes. Um, with that said, we're looking for wanted person. Okay. Stolen vehicle. Yes. Anything offensive in the vehicle to the clear? So that's the purpose of the stop? Yeah. No other reason? Yeah, although to inspect the vehicle and maintain the driver's license, if it's up to date. And that's it? Yeah. That's it. Oh, what's the a, what's a crime you suspect of committing here? You, you, you haven't committed any crime, sir. Do you suspect me of committing a crime, no. sir? And so you need my vehicle documents? Yes, and so provide me the vehicle. Do you, do, uh, <laughs> there's no offense that you suspect? Just double checking. No, sir. So you just want to inspect my documents? Inspect so you just want to search my documents, that's all? That's all, sir. Just so? Without you suspecting any offense? I right, hear what? We can make this very fast. Just say, just tell me that because I'm not going to allow you to breach my constitutional rights. So therefore, what I'll say to you respectfully is that if you really want to search my documents, because I'm not waiving my constitutional rights, then you can give me an order. Just order me, use your authority, and I'll give it to you. Let's go ahead and do that. The name is Jermaine Dunn, by the way. So when you're ready, when you're ready, I'm not giving you them freely. Just, 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 I'm not giving you them freely. So if you're asking me for them, I'm not going to give them to you. All right, sir. Provide me your vehicle document. And that's an order? Yeah, that's an order. Under the threat of arrest if I don't give it to you? Is it an order, sir? As you're asking, order. that is an order. Yeah, yeah. Okay, remember you're exerting your authority. Yeah? So what if I invoke my right to remain silent? Listen to that person. She pop pee pop pee pop pee pop. Keep pass a sock pass say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. Now people, you and I know that Jamaica is a crime-ridden place. You and I know that legal, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens, residents, even if you're a visitor. You have rights, you have civil rights, and you have human rights. And you're supposed to be able to drive around your community, your country, free will once you're not any sorts of suspect, your name now and call up, without harassment, without violation from authority. You and I also know that Jamaica is a place that is ridden with all sorts of criminal, hiding all sorts of contraband, Hiding all sorts at all. People that are wanted, people are suspected, trying to act like they are decent. So, therefore, sometimes you need random search. So, therefore, even though you have those rights, sometimes you have to give up those rights for stuff to be better. I am not saying that you're supposed to be violated. Your human rights or civil rights are supposed to be trampled up on. However, if the poor poor stop you, they are being cordial. Just work with the program. Give them the insurance, the fitness, registration. It will make for an easier transition. It would make life much, much easier. One thing I also will warn people. The man that you hear talking in that, I am sure that he has a different type of look that would more be of the uptown look. Don't know if him be L-A-C-K or Brown. However, the way that he spoke, these poor poor, they were kind of startled. They did not know what to do. They do, did not know who he was. One thing we know about people in a Jamaica, specifically poor poor, Armed force, security force, depends on how you look, depends on how you act, depends on how you speak. Then them can draw a conclusion into which category or subcategory you fall into. If you sound like you're somebody that is educated, might know somebody that is educated with power, then 
the way that they respond is going to be different. However, I would not recommend that if you look like some sorts of bubble and nothing is wrong, not saying that any sorts of bubble look like any sorts of criminal, maybe they do. If you fit that stereotypical description of a dancehall artist, of a thug, of somebody with some sorts of garrison address, meaning that you look like you braid up, meaning that you look like you bleach out, meaning that you tattoo up, you have teardrops by your eye. Maybe you should want to rethink standing up for your rights. Not to say that you don't have any sorts of right, but me just as say, the response or the reaction might be polar different than of what this man got. So in other words, it's not what you say, is who say it. Like them say, puss and dog don't have the same luck. Donkey tell you, the earth is no level. So therefore, know where you're fitting, know what to say, know what to act. Know who and who you are dealing with. Do not press your luck or else you might get stuck. Meaning F-U-C-K like Chuck. Shibada ish type. No Vaseline. So my recommendation to all of this is that these poor poor be more assertive. Don't act as if you are guessing and spelling. Don't act as if you don't know your rights. You don't know the rules. Just be cordial, explain to people, you know, say, certain amount of crime are gone and you might not be a suspect. We just want to check and make you know. Civilians, motorists, please comply with the poor poor. Don't give them a hard time or they might give you a hard time too. So it is respect for respect. It goes a long way. It all turns out good for everybody. Sometimes you have to give up some sorts of rights. So therefore the place can stop running wrong. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, this is what we call the worthless generation that suffer from a very bad case of me no like work my light is. We've seen that Jamaica upon a whole from Kingston to country has been plagued by all sorts of fraud, all sorts of sham, all sorts of scam. Fraudulent activities in the banking sector. Any and air bank, everybody is an equal target. People get up overseas, check them account online, money gone, gone down to $10, $5, whatever that is. Same thing, bankyard, anywhere you turn, it seems as if we are all under siege. Can't hide your money in the house, them all kick off your door, pie pie up and take away your money. Can't carry go to the bank that once used to be safe because the scam of them and the fraudsters are there. Not only is it an external problem, even worse, it is internal. The scammers are inside the banks and they are orchestrating, masterminding all sorts of thiefery. So we wonder how them get away with it, who them are send this money to, can't the bank just trace back and see who the money tea from and who the money got to, yes they can, however what is happening is that people are facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y, they are making their bank accounts accessible to these scammers for a small fee. Sometimes them get the money, sometimes the scammer scam them, so therefore thief from thief got a laugh. I want you to take a listen, take a look to one at what one of the experts that are associated with this major fraud has to say as it pertains to advice to people and what is going to be the repercussion and then I will give my piece. The Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Fraud Squad has been receiving quite a number of complaints about persons who are renting or making their bank accounts accessible to scammers or persons who are committing criminal activities. And what they do is to allow persons to transfer funds into their accounts. And you will be charged if once we have completed the investigations for um, an unauthorized access, making your account available for criminal um, transactions. We'll be also charging you for 
the Proceeds of Crimes Act. And we just want to advise you that once persons are asking you to use your account to facilitate these transactions, you should not do it. We will be going all out to arrest these persons. And already have I said, we have arrested six persons. And so if you are one of them who allow your accounts to be used, then we'll be coming after you. Now, people, this is the man that is an expert on what is going on in Jamaica. Pretty much the place is under siege. siege. The scammers are outwitting, outsmarting the banks. The scammers seems as if they have the upper edge while they do. So therefore, the bank had tell you, say, listen, this is the reason, this is one of the reasons people are facilitating making their bank accounts accessible. So therefore, where you could rent car, rent house, now people are rent out them bank account for a small fees. They are contacted by these scammers. The scammers make them an offer that they cannot resist. Especially when you are not gainfully employed. Especially when you are desperate. You are going to be more gullible or more vulnerable. You are going to be prime for accepting some sorts of foolishness. So the people them contact these people, whether they know them personally or through some sorts of external person. Get the bank account, thief the money, send it to that person's account. Then they withdraw the money, the people them that own the account. Give the lion's share to the scammer and then the scammer give them a fee. However, people like them always say, thief from thief, God laugh. There has been instances in which people get money. When them go for drop off the money, all sorts of conflict are the scammer them not get them money and people you know that the wages of sin is d-e-a-t-h people end up losing them life because they want everything so therefore two sets of teeth buck up together one of the teeth them decides that they want to scam the scammer so therefore them give him some sorts of sham some sorts of excuse that never usually ends up good and people end up in the afterlife people like me say don't start no ish won't be no ish. Get yourself a trade. Get yourself an education. Get yourself not being vulnerable, gullible. Do not facilitate F-U-C-K-R-Y or you will get F-U-C-K eventually. Whether at the scammer or the law. Point blank and period. Further on in the news and continuing on the theme of the scammer them there. Now, people, one thing that we've noticed is that these fraudsters, these thieves, these scammers are always coming up with innovative ways to take people's money and even take their life. What they do is make posts on social media, wait for unsuspecting victims to buy the beats. If you ever hear the saying, if it sounds too good to be true, then more than likely it is. You are going to get screwed for being vulnerable, gullible, for being too greedy. There's a business that is on social media. If you look at your screen right now, it is called Kevin's Auto Sale. If you notice, him have over 4,000 followers and following. He has over 6,000 followers and following over 4,000 plus people. Him claims that him have vehicle for sale. So, for example, if a vehicle costs $500,000, he must sell it for three. If a vehicle costs $700,000, he must sell it for five. There is always some sorts of huge discounts. But I am here to tell you, the value of something is always the value of something, especially if it is a hard car. So I say this to say that the law of supply and demand never usually change. It remains constant. So therefore, if you call around looking at the advertising thing, certain classified ads, and you see 20 people are sell a vehicle for 700, 600 and enough, and then you call one individual, as in this Kevin Arthur seal, and them tell you say, a 50% discount. It tells you more than likely that person is a thief, that person is a scammer, and people. This business, Kevin Auto Sales, is. They make posts, put up picture. People, you and I can just go into Google, simply 
put in the name of a vehicle and you can get a hundred million different pictures. They then use these pictures and put up all sorts of car for sale. However, here is the catch. You need to give them probably about 40-50% of it as deposit. So therefore, if the car costs 500000 maybe 200000 250000 deposit. You then need to give them a copy of your driver's license which has detailed information, your TRN, your address. And then, if and when you see the vehicle, if you don't like it, you can't get back your money. People, there is no such thing. It is called buying puss in a bag. If you buy puss in a bag, you're going to get F-U-C-K like some big P-U-S-S-Y. Sorry to sound so graphic. I am trying to get the message out there. However, if you call this person and tell him, say, listen, all right, may I come with my poor, poor friend so we can look over the vehicle, test drive it and make sure I said, all right, when you call them back, you're not going to get any sorts of answer. There is a phone number. The phone number says you can contact them on WhatsApp or call them straight. Here is a problem when you call people straight. There is some sorts of cell site indicating their location. However, when you call them on WhatsApp, that is not so much the case. So therefore, when you call them straight, you're not going to get them. When you call them on WhatsApp, you get through. So Mr. Kevin Autosale and Mr. JCF, I am giving you their number. I am giving you their sites. These people are a set of thieves. Poor, poor people. Refrain. Do not buy anything from them. They are being exposed. Poor, poor. If and when you see them, set up some sorts of sting and pretty much take them out. Meaning, K-I-L-L them in a cold blood because that is what they are doing. They might take people money. Then if you go complain to the poor poor because them have your address, because them have your driver's license, you might end up not only losing your money, losing your deposit, which you will, you might also lose your life. Point blank and period. Now, there is a video that is making its round on social media and it shows... A poor, poor traffic cop on some sorts of bike. Trying to pull over a vehicle. Look like a um, pro box. Look like a taxi. However, both men are being stubborn. The poor, poor was using his bike to block the vehicle. And then the vehicle was trying to use the vehicle. Meaning the motorist was trying to use the vehicle. For pretty much run over the poor, poor so he could get away. Don't know what is the final outcome. However, people, I want you to take a listen, take a look at the edited version of this video and then I am going to give my piece. Give me the name back. I tell you, I see him doing clean. So we see say, the man a try black, the police a try black, the motorists are cabby, the cabby a try escape. Now people, you and I know that when it comes to poor poor and cabby or the average driver in a Jamaica, them live like puss and dog, especially minibus man and taxi man, cabby and squaddy kind of squabbles. In this video, we see say, you have two individual that don't want to budge. Yes, the poor poor is doing his job. And it is the poor poor's rights to block off anybody that is violating any sorts of ticket or traffic infraction. However, the poor poor has to realize this is a different Jamaica. These people have a different mindset. To avoid getting a ticket for 10 or 15,000, they would rather to take your life away. They would rather to run you over, make you kind of paralyzed, make you immobile. So therefore, they can avoid the tickets. We've seen instances in which cabman try the same thing and end up losing them life. At the end of the day, nobody wins. At the end of the day, even people that have nothing to do with anything, meaning passers-by, civilian on the road, get run over because the poor poor don't want to stop. And then the cabbie was not stop. So people, me just as say. Be very careful whatever you do. If you are a poor poor, know that so these people have no problem running you over. 
even though they will have to suffer the repercussion afterwards, they do not think they are not rational. Kiabi, bad drivers out there, you will end up losing your life rightfully and justifiably. So, if you try to run over the popo, so therefore think before you act or else you might act a fool and end up where them have act a fool, meaning dung a madden, dung a dove cut or even in the big yard or the graveyard, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself.